Hey guys, uh, Tyler here. I'm headed back to, uh, well not back home yet. Uh, just getting, uh, just left Riverton and uh, headed south towards Saratoga. I had the great opportunity last night to spend the night with some friends there that lives in Riverton. Uh, does some diversified agriculture. I mean, you know, when I say diversified, these guys pretty much do as much as possible. They're in a hundred different directions. It's pretty amazing to see. Uh, on top of doing produce and those types of things, they do chickens. Uh, they've got sheep for grazing on their place. They've got multiple different animals that they put out in their pastures. The different types of uh, aspects that each animal brings to a pasture uh, to help out their soil and that's where their concentration is is uh, boosting their soil it's pretty impressive to see and they uh, periodically uh, Deanne milks a cow or two <laughs> so they're busy and they do a lot of different things and it's it's impressive to see that Riverton farmers market is just blown up it's gotten huge 40 different producers 40 different producers at a farmers market is what they're seeing so, uh, very cool stuff, and uh, big thanks to them for putting me up last night. And, uh, it was a heck of a lot better than a typical hotel and a uh, great house. Anyways, thanks again, guys. Uh, but I'm headed to Saratoga Corporations Committee meeting, and uh, I want to do a little post egg committee and pre uh, corporations committee. Um, so, post egg committee, saw several different pieces of legislation, saw some really big wins. Um, <laughs> kind of, I guess. Uh, if you're a rabbit producer in the state of Wyoming, you wrangle rabbits, then you can now sell rabbits under the Wyoming Food Freedom Act. Uh, Department of Agriculture has studied the issue, and uh, they're good with it. So that's it's covered under the Wyoming Food Freedom Act. Produce rabbits, I guess. I don't know. I've never produced a rabbit before. I've just got out a couple rabbits, and this is for domestic rabbits only, mind you, domestic rabbits, and uh, they can't be in any commercial facilities, pretty much like everything in the Food Freedom Act. Um, except, they also came out with a really good idea, uh, and this is something that would have to be a statutory change of bill, um, and I'm going to look to Senator Doc Stater uh, to handle this one, or to give me some kind of indication where he's going to go on it, and if, if any help he needs. Um, be able to sell Wyoming Food Freedom products in a store, in a commercial store. So their idea is, this is the Department of Agriculture's idea, is kind of treat it like the, a liquor situation. So you go into like Albertsons and they've got their liquor store portion, but it's completely a different walled off area with a different door and it's labeled, hey, this is all liquor inside here. You do the same for uh, uninspected goods. And so that's their idea, and I think it's pretty fantastic. They don't foresee any problems with the federal government, but then again, who knows when we're dealing with the federal government. Pretty exciting stuff. That's all good stuff. Um, saw a couple couple of uh, other bills. Uh, the Pine Beetle funding bill went through, which was awesome. Uh, we've still got some work to do on it, but it's a lot better than what, what it was, so that's really good news. Um, and that'll, that'll move forward to this next session as voted by the Agriculture Committee. Pine beetle funding, it's important back home and we're moving that bill forward. Another aspect that happened is we looked at some bills that specifically had to do with the role of the Wyoming Water Commission. And uh, one of those pieces of legislation I'm, I'm all right with, it wasn't uh, drastic, but it has to do with the fact that the Wyoming Water Commission has the, has the ability to give direction to uh, pardon me, the, the staff of the Wyoming Water Commission, or the Wyoming Water Development. Uh, so that's a pretty simple deal. Uh, the other piece of legislation that I'm against, um, unless somebody can explain it a better way to me, but it gives the Select Water Committee, uh, basically carte blanche the way I see it, authority over the Wyoming Water Commission on all their projects. Why do we have the Wyoming Water Commission and select water committees got to approve everything? I, so I voted against that. I was in the minority. So uh, we'll be looking at that one this session. Going to corporations, huge topics. It's going to be 
Uh, it's gonna be a rowdy room. We're talking about net metering. We're talking about municipal powers, voting in municipalities. Uh, we're talking about the primary system, primary over caucus system. It is gonna be, the whole thing's gonna be pretty rowdy. I'm really looking forward to it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like going to a football game. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna check that out. Uh, well, also, before I forget, uh, the beekeeping bill in the Agriculture Committee is officially dead. Um, what ended up happening is, you know, we kind of come to the conclusion that this is, this is uh, more than just beekeeping. When we're talking about the agriculture um, exemption on property taxes, how they, how they rate, you know, an exemption's a bad word for it. it. Essentially, what we're talking about is qualifying your land for agricultural use. Um, it has to be productive land that is being used primarily in the production of agriculture. Um, and it's taxed at that rate, which is a lower rate than residential, as it should be. So this isn't like a welfare situation for uh, um, agriculture producers. As somebody had said in, in, in a previous post, it's it's not like that's not like we're giving money to them. It's not like we're giving them a break. We're just saying, hey, your land's agriculture. Uh, this is the rate the Wyoming taxes that. So because beekeeping is it's kind of a specific niche, uh, we had the thought, well, why wouldn't we just look at something along the lines of diversified agriculture? Because agriculture is a, it's a changing thing, just like any other industry. And Wyoming's agriculture has really gone towards um, being more along the lines of uh, vineyards and those types of things, or not specifically or primarily. I mean, we still are primarily a cattle and a, a cattle type state a lamb type state a farming type state those type of things but there are a lot of people doing diversified agriculture so that's kind of what we're leaning towards right now is maybe having that bill in place unfortunately we are plumb flat out of agriculture committee uh, committee meetings so that bill would not be sponsored uh, by the agriculture committee but you can look for a bill um, this session um, to handle that situation I don't know by who yet but I expect it to be there so uh, back to corporations committee it's gonna be a rodeo flat-out rodeo but really looking forward to it it's gonna be a good time if you guys have any questions or comments don't hesitate to ask and uh, I'll see you later I got a lot of road left in front of me before I get to Saratoga until then house district one talk to you later